But one of the things that I say about this building is I wish it could talk. That's what we need right there. Used to be, when I was a kid, almost every home on our reservation had these fish smokehouses. And today, that's, it's lost. But how many do you think you're gonna need? About 10, 10, 15. Everybody that comes and does this process knows that our culture is something that we're never supposed to let go of. You know, we're supposed to hang on to these teachings and this is one aspect of our culture. And so our tradition of hard smoking, that's what we want to preserve for the generations that are going to come after us. The main thing about our fire is to not let it get real big. You want smoke, but we also have to maintain it to where it starts to dry the ground and the ground helps produce the heat and keeps the green alder burning. Uh, I'm Michael Jerry Jr. I started when I was 16 years old. It was just this last year I started uh, doing this and learning the process of what our people and what my dad had to go through to do all of this. It's not an easy job, you know? You gotta make sure they thaw out, you gotta fillet the fish. And I can imagine doing this and teaching the next generation, even my kids, because this is who we are. This is what we've always done. Yeah, I feel like it's part of my education, not school education, but Indian education, because not everyone does this anymore. It's our, one of our oldest traditions. You know, when you eat the salmon, when after it's all done, it really makes you feel like you deserved it. The way we do it is a long process. Does it go all the way back behind the gill or no? Yeah. Everything's made by hand because it's the old traditional way. I don't want people to experience easy. I want them to know exactly what our, our ancestors went through. But I'll tell you what I always tell these guys. At first your hand gets cold, but it, you keep doing this. And I don't know why, but the cold goes away. You have to tough it out. The, the part I like to see is the camaraderie, the laughter, the stories that come out, that's what it's about. Pulling people together and getting a job done. Just go part way then, then fold it and just cut through right through the bone. And when you nick yourself, it's not too fun. The cuts hurt. <laughs> a sharp knife's important because working with the fish, it's kind of hard. That skin is real thick, it's hard to cut through. And how slippery it can be, even them bones sometimes, is a little struggle. This was one of the best ways to preserve something. You could pick it up three or four months later and still eat it, it doesn't spoil. And it smokes for six, seven, eight days to where it's hard and it's jerky, like you have to rip it off the skin. Oh yeah, those are nice. This is... Essentially, it's like a, a art. That's how I do it, and that's how I'm teaching my son. So this one can slide. My son, I teach them there's something else to this. You're not just building a fire, we're flaying fish. You're connecting with our ancestors who have done this for hundreds of years. So. That's the ultimate goal is to keep this culture alive, keep it going, keep the young ones learning and carrying it on. So those folks that are no longer with us, I hope that that, that makes them happy. Mm -hmm.